U.S. President Joe Biden has said that he will keep troops in Afghanistan until every American is evacuated, even if that means going beyond his August 31st deadline. The pledge came as 5,000 people departed from Kabul's airport and the, Taliban, as the, and the Taliban kept some Afghans from reaching the airfield. Meanwhile, in the city of Jalab, Jalalab, Jalalabad, Taliban fighters opened fire at protesters who tried to install Afghanistan's national flag at a square in the city. Take a look. President Biden wants U.S. forces out by the end of this month, but up to 15,000 U.S. citizens are stranded in the country. The U.S. president told ABC News in an exclusive interview that the turmoil in Kabul was unavoidable. About 4,500 U.S. troops are in temporary control of Karzai International Airport in the nation's capital, but Taliban fighters and checkpoints ring the perimeter. The Taliban are blocking Afghans without travel documents, but even those with valid authorization have struggled. Mr. Biden, a Democrat, told ABC News the U.S. would stay to get all Americans out of Afghanistan, even if it meant remaining beyond the 31st August deadline for complete withdrawal. The U.S. president says between 10,000 and 15,000 Americans needed to be evacuated along with 50,000 to 65,000 Afghans, such as former translators for the American military. Almost 6,000 people have been evacuated so far, including diplomats, security staff, aid workers and Afghans. The Pentagon has stated that they aim to expand the airlift to 9,000 people a day. The International Monetary Fund, IMF, has suspended Afghanistan's access to 440 million U.S. dollars in monetary reserves, a move pushed by the U.S. Treasury to prevent funds falling into Taliban hands. Meanwhile, the Taliban have celebrated Afghanistan's Independence Day by declaring it had beaten the arrogant of power of the world in the United States. Today marks Afghanistan's Independence Day, which commemorates the 1919 treaty that ended British rule in the Central Asian nation. Daniel Kiruki for Switch TV News.